Welcome back to our channel. We are Michael and Anjali and this is our van Sunny. Last year, we quit our jobs and moved full time in it to work on our dream of one day living on a catamaran. Currently, we are exploring the beautiful island of Tenerife, the largest of Canary Islands, a Spanish archipelago in the eastern Atlantic Ocean off the coast of West Africa. Join us in this episode on our adventure where the three of us or at least two of us get up to the volcano Tida. The engine is running high then something feels super wrong. So today we are going to Mount Hida, which is the volcano that sits in the middle of Tenerife. It is known as... Um, highest point of Spain. True, it's the highest uh, point of Spain and also the third largest volcano in the world. And it's known for its mass-like landscape and we are so excited. <laughs> So, we just stopped here now because while we are driving there is a bit of weird noise from the engine and we have no idea what it could be. Somehow we are also not that comfortable to drive now with that. So we are thinking of just going to a garage and let it checked. Cool, then let's go to a garage. Cool, let's go. So we have reached the garage now and the mechanic is checking the car. Uh, let's see what comes out. Didn't sound so good, but the good part is that we're able to communicate with them because that's the biggest nightmare when you are in a garage and you just cannot explain or understand what they are trying to say. But someone here speaks German and that's amazing. So let's see what Michael has to say. He will come back soon. So the Zahnriemen, so this thing which rounds around, it's loose. Yeah, okay. So he showed it is loose running and it definitely has to be tightened or even changed. Don't tell me. I mean, but he, he opened it and he showed you, you yeah. can press with the finger and that's most likely that it's touching always the plastic. Yeah. So now he's talking to his boss if they can take this and do it. But because the problem is you really have to get everything out in front of the engine to, to work on that. Yeah, so I think you can start start packing more. <laughs> <laughs> That's the adventure Angie we signed up for. Yeah, it's okay. You can check already some nice Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> to drive 50 minutes to go to accommodation and then we need to figure out what are we doing this week yeah <laughs> <laughs> maybe we still take the car and go and watch stars who yeah. knows why not now we have the car i mean <laughs> i would be happy to go with the car <laughs> yeah the roads were let's say a bit tricky for the van and sometimes because we are going quite high on the way back road was quite steep and and we, our brakes were smoking. Yeah, that's true. We could really s see smoke coming out and not sure if that's healthy for the car. I have to change clothes. We were ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> we were ready to go into the mountains. Now I'm sweating. Can we put it on cold? Cold like winter mode. We still go and see the volcano. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is all we have to pivot. We have to pivot, yeah. <laughs> and it's also part, I mean, of the whole van life thing, no? Yeah. Which just can happen, no? Mm -hmm. Van is not working anymore. <laughs> <laughs> just after talking about how much we love van life. Yeah, exactly. As if 
On our previous trips to Tenerife, we were always attracted to the north. But only after having spent some time here have we really uncovered the beauty of this island. Tenerife is known to have four separate microclimates on the island. Trade winds help the island create a natural phenomenon known as a sea of clouds that gently pushes clouds against the hilltops. This causes the air moisture to condense, nurturing a great variety of plant species. In the middle of the island sits Steda National Park and has been declared by UNESCO a World Heritage Site for being one of the richest and most diverse assemblages of volcanic landscapes. It sure is one of the most beautiful places we've ever been to. In the north of the park stands Mount Tida, a 3,718-meter-high volcano. Due to the geological similarity between Mars and the park, teams of researchers visit here to test methods of looking for life on Mars and new robotic vehicles. For a moment, it did feel like we stepped foot on another planet. Nah, are you enjoying the view here? Yeah, definitely. Oh, sunset will be so magical here. It's crazy, right? I'm so happy that we could still make it to the volcano, even if the van was not there, and even yeah. if things weren't as we wanted them to be. But sitting here, looking at this view and what we saw before is just amazing. That's it for this week's episode. If you enjoy watching our adventures, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. <laughs>